Hey PJ, it's Zach here. I apologize for how long I've taken to get back to you. It was three weeks ago since I posted my first video response to your comments. Um, as I told you on my Facebook page, I was having computer trouble for a couple days over the long weekend. It took a while to get repaired. Then I got it repaired, then I had some family issues, and then I was on vacation. Um, if you see my channel, I've posted like two videos in the last three weeks, so I'm not just, uh, it's like the longest time I've gone with outposting my videos. Um, but I'm responding to you on here because I felt that your response didn't actually meet the criteria I was asking for in a response, um, so I'm not going to be going into any great depth rebuting or making a rebuttal to your points because uh, for the second time you haven't countered my points that I raised in that video. Your video had some valid information and I'd be more than happy to go into it in a video response but there was also in my opinion the majority of it was stuff I already covered in the links I had in my video. So some of those links I had originally posted to you in the comments and I assumed that you hadn't been able to watch them because you just didn't know that those were links because in the YouTube comments you can't stick the YouTube.com before so I just have the slash and all, all that those letters that are in the YouTube URLs which perhaps you overlooked and didn't um, understand as was a link to a video. Um, so those were videos I had shot which had links to scientific studies below them many of your points regarding gorillas, etc. I'd already covered that in the videos. You can't use these apes as examples of who to model diets after. We're not these apes. I've gone over the physiological differences that are vast in the number of different things going on in them that indicates that they consume a very different diet to us and are designed or evolved to consume a very different diet from us. But again, I'm not going to argue that because I've already put it out there. You haven't countered the points. You're saying there's these PhDs, etc., that have uh, that have the opinion that we should be following that as an example. You know, primates in the wild. But there's also PhDs that acknowledge that we're not primates. It's easy, and I've been there to just look at an ape and say, "Oh, they kind of look like us. We should be eating like them. We've got similar DNA, etc." But it's much more complex than that. And I'm not going to go into that here because I already went to it in the links that I had in the video. And I give my reasons for it there. So, at this point, I'm, unless you want to actually make a response to my points, so this is how a conversation or a debate works or a discussion, however you want to frame it. I'm trying to look back to what we were originally discussing, which was, um, I believe, the original topic was strictly uh, whether or not humans evolved eating meat. So that's what we were debating, but in your video you're starting to make all these other things. So whether or not eating like apes is ideal for us, that's still not the actual thing we were debating. So you're trying to pull things off into multiple topics that we'd be discussing, and you know, I don't have time for that. Like, I've got videos that already address all those things which I'll just point you into the direction of, because I'm not going to make a whole new video just for you, just to clarify these points. So, as I was saying, the idea of sticking to the main topic, which is whether what we evolved eating, and I gave you the links to past videos of mine that had all the references for that, and your video was stuck on this idea of the primates, you talked about this other video by Milton Mills, and he's... I, again, I'm not going to read, watch an 80-minute video when it's on a topic that's removed from what we're discussing. It's criticizing the paleo diet, which is fine. I would be interested in watching that if we were debating about whether or not the paleo diet is healthy. We're not debating what's healthy. We're debating the facts on what humans evolved eating. So that's the number one thing in our discussion is you stick to the topic you're debating, trying to pull in these other sort of subtopics, even though they can be related, isn't, uh, is losing sight of the first goal that was um, the purpose of the debate or the discussion, which was finding the most factual conclusion based on the evidence at hand of the um, thing that was being raised. So, your video is, like I said, good in the sense that it had some good stuff, but you know, you're not acknowledging my points, you haven't 
button of the pedal to those points, and then give an ev your, your uh, new stance, and then evidence for your new stance. So it's rebuttal, new ideas, and evidence. You've given new ideas and evidence, but it's not even, you forgot the, you're feeding my points, even with evidence, and your new stance isn't even talking about the thing that we were originally talking about. So that's why I hesitate to actually make this on the main channel and do a whole more, uh, I don't want to use the word professional, but better quality video with editing and everything and put it up to my audience just because at this point um, it's not, uh, discussion isn't, um, what's the word, following the course that it would for it to be worthwhile for people to watch and understand and uh, see the coherent flow of things. So I'm not criticizing you as a person, obviously. Um, I just wanted to let you know that that's why I haven't responded on my channel. And I'm open to you carrying this on if you even want to. If you want to <laughs> discuss other topics, start that afresh and make a response to a video of mine that is on that. I'm more than happy to discuss that. Um, but that's just my way of doing things. I'm not going to spend my time getting into sort of frivolous things that don't stay on topic and that don't follow that uh, logical uh, way of discussing things. So, again, I just want to clarify, if you do want to do it, is whoever makes the first point, if you discuss, I mean, I do this if I disagree with you. I'd offer why I think you just, your point was wrong, then the new points that I'd be making and evidence for that. If I needed to offer evidence for why I thought your point was wrong, I'd include that as well. So it's four things to keep in mind in any sort of response. So yeah, I hope, uh, sorry to keep you waiting on all that. It's a pretty simple message. Um, and also, providing that video of Milton Mills, excuse me, that's uh, just, that's like me saying, go read this book, or, you know, you can't, or at least, you can post it, I, there's nothing wrong with posting and giving me information to look at, but I'm not going to spend my time looking at that if it's not your stuff, so... He has a long diatribe about something. I watched a few brief clips of it, and then realized it wasn't actually on the topic we were discussing. If you you could take elements of that and find the research he had and use that research to back up your own stance and say, "Hey, I got it from this video." But to say, "Watch this 80-minute video by someone else that isn't even on topic," that's uh, that's why it's not uh, reliable evidence. So. I hope that's some um, things you can think about, and I'm more than happy to discuss things in the future. Thanks for your time.